Hi there. Currently, I want to show you how Team Hula uh, actually went through the hackathon Hack for Good Ambas. And before that, I want to uh, introduce you the Team Hula. We are five individuals. Uh, most of us didn't know each other uh, before this day. Uh, and we are from two time zones, five different countries. Um, not all of us had uh, the experience with the tools that we used. So a lot of people also um, got a lot of uh, really great insights on the tools and uh, they learned a lot during this day. So that's really cool. So let's talk a little bit about um, some problems we see. Because we can see that 63% um, of the organizations don't have a return to office policy. We all know that COVID um, is actually um, requiring us to stay at home. And um, eventually we will go back to the office. Um, parts of our uh, office will uh, be filled with people that are working from the office again. Uh, we won't go to the office all at once again, uh, for now at least. Uh, but we can see that some companies will um, let people into the office uh, a little bit more. 72% of the business leaders are saying that they really need their staff at the office. 86% of the organizations digitally, digitally transformed during the pandemic. So that's really interesting to see as well. So that the pandemic really, um, really uh, made people to transform digitally. And 90% of the IT decision makers uh, claim that uh, that legacy systems are still preventing growth. And that's also something that we uh, want to tackle with, um, with our solution, of course. So the problem is that um, currently everybody, of almost everybody is working from home. And that was of course to flatten the curve. Um, but when it starts up again, we really want to make sure that we don't get another spike in the COVID cases. And to make this process easier, we uh, should let uh, people back into the office gradually. So we don't want to uh, get them into the office all at once, but we want to, uh, for instance, first allow 15% of the uh, personnel to come back to the office. And then if um, uh, time goes by, then we probably want to up it to 20, 25, and so on and so on. So we came up with Hula Seat Assignment, and that's a way to empower employees to drive personal engagement with their seats. So the seat manager is actually providing uh, the seats that are available. Then if some girl wants to work at the office, she can just book a seat and then um, the facilities manager can see the usage of the seats. So our solution, uh, you can see a little drawing we did at the beginning at the top. Um, our solution is a power virtual agent where uh, people can book their seats. It has a lot of flows behind it. Um, it um, sends some emails to people. It uh, books something into CDS, for instance. All those kinds of things are included in the uh, solution. And I really wanted to show you that we uh, are already in the Gartner Quadrant on more, most places. Uh, we, are, we are really big in the Leader Quadrant. But uh, you can see us pop up everywhere. So that's really cool. So let's talk a little bit about Power Virtual Agent. Power Virtual Agent is the chatbot where people can book an office space. They can get in contact with people who know more about uh, COVID policies and they can get their upcoming bookings. We have a Power BI dashboard where the, um, where the uh, facilities manager actually can see how the dashboard, um, uh, on the dashboard, how the uh, total requests are and how they look for now. Um, then we also have a model-driven app where uh, the seat managers can uh, add seats uh, and also see all the bookings in there, etc. And we have a SharePoint site with more uh, information about the Hula company uh, policies. So that's also nice. And we also include Power Virtual Agent in there. So with that, I want to thank uh, hack for good for a great hackathon. And uh, we as Team Hula really enjoyed this. So hope to do this again. Bye-bye. Hey, Hack for Good. Gentian Casa here from the EMEA region. I just wanted to thank you guys 
so much for this experience. It was really, really fun. Thanks. Hey, DMAC for good. Thank you so much for an amazing two days. It's been really great learning from each other and it's been a great experience. We bought some awesome apps. Can't wait to look forward to the next year. And thank you for my team. I really met some awesome guys um, and, and, you know, looking forward on driving our application into the regions. Hey, act for good. My name is Adebali Yusuf. I'm from Nigeria. Thank you guys for coming up with this great experience. It is really, really fun. And thanks to the team, Team Ula, you guys are great. Hi, MS. It's been a very nice experience of learning. It's great being getting in touch with the team members. It was a great experience 